all over the world, fans of the HBO show Game of Thrones have been searching for thrones made of swords in a scavenger hunt aimed at promoting the debut of the final season. Who knew one of them has been sitting right here in New York City all along? Well, apparently one woman did, and it was so obviously in Queens. Eyewitness News reporter Rob Nelson with more from Fort Totten. Make no mistake about it, this is not just some other line in New York City. This is what happens when you mix a television phenomenon and genius marketing. It's like a once-in-a-lifetime once kind of thing. Deep inside Fort Totten in Bayside, Queens, a former military base, a flock of fans stood in line to sit down. Not just in any chair, but a replica throne from HBO's smash hit show, Game of Thrones. What was it like for you to sit on throne? What did it feel like? Definitely really cool. Like, I felt like, yeah. New York City was one of six undisclosed locations around the world where a throne was hidden, sending fans scrambling after some online clues to find the iconic chair. When we heard this was going on, we were just like, we have to go. We have to know what it's like to actually sit on the Iron Throne and just, like, be able to say that. All of this, a massive marketing strategy to hype up the show's eighth and final season, which begins next month. Here in New York, it was Uber fan Melanie Joaquin who found the throne just minutes after HBO's tweet on Thursday. It was awesome. I feel like I could conquer the world. I rightfully won the throne, so I'm the queen of queens, you know? New York was the final location revealed, following Sweden, Brazil, Canada, the UK, and Spain, a global scavenger hunt designed for diehard fans who just couldn't resist the chance to rule. And of course, snap a cell phone photo for posterity. The New York chair will stay in place until Monday night.